This brief tutorial will show you how to use the Name Drop feature in PE Design 10. Name Drop is a function where you create a pattern once and the software will substitute the names using a list. This is a huge time saver when creating a design for a group or a team. You need to have layout and editing open for this lesson. Click on the Import tab in the Integrated Sewing Attributes window. Click on the From menu drop-down arrow and choose Design Library. Click on the Category drop-down menu and then choose Miscellaneous. Scroll down until you see the coffee cup and then double click on the coffee cup or click on the cup and then click Import. Click on the Text Tool down arrow and then choose the first tool, the Text Tool. Click on the design page to activate the tool and then type in your text. Press Enter to set the text. Click on the font style drop down arrow. Scroll through the fonts and then left mouse click to select a font style. Once you left mouse click, the font style will automatically be applied. In the Integrated Sewing Attributes window, on the Text tab, place a check mark in front of Transform. Choose the first text transformation. Click on the Select Tool down arrow and then choose Select All. Click on the Arrange Tool down arrow, choose Layout, and then Center. Click on the Text Tool down arrow and then choose the first tool, the Text Tool. Click on the Design page to activate the tool and then type in your text. Press Enter to set the text. In the Integrated Sewing Attributes window, on the Text tab, remove the check mark in front of Transform. Move the text into the approximate desired position beneath the coffee cup. Click on the Select Tool down arrow and choose Select All. Click on the Arrange Tool down arrow, choose Layout, and then Center. Click on the Arrange Tool down arrow, choose Layout, and then Move to Center. The keyboard shortcut for Move to Center is Control plus M on your keyboard. Click off the design and then click on the name underneath the design. On the Text tab in the Integrated Sewing Attributes window, scroll down and place a check mark in front of Name Drop. Place a check mark in front of Maintain Aspect Ratio. Click on Name Drop List. Double click on the second line to add a name in the second space. Type in a name. Press Enter to go to the next line. Type in the next name for the group and press Enter. Continue in this manner until all the group names have been added. Click to folder. Type in a name for the file. To change the save location, click on the file folder. Navigate to a folder and then click OK. To create a subfolder, click on the initial folder and then click Make New Folder. Type in a name for the folder and press Enter. Make sure you click on the folder you created to select the folder. If you don't, the location will not be selected. Click OK. Click OK again.
The software will begin generating a file for each name. Click OK. Click OK or Cancel to return to the design space. Click on the Option drop-down menu and choose Design Database. The Design Database will open. On the left side of the window, locate the folder that you place the name drop files in and left mouse click on the folder. If you place the designs in a subfolder, you will need to click on the plus signs until you see the correct subfolder. You will see all of the files that were generated in NameDrop in the right side of the window. If you are direct connected to your sewing machine, have a card writer with a blank card inserted into the computer, or have a USB media inserted into your computer, you can send all of the designs at one time to your embroidery machine from the design database. Information on how to send multiple designs to the embroidery machine begins on page 72 of your Digitizing So Easy workbook. Begin reading on page 275 of the Digitizing So Easy workbook for more information on name drops.